Hey, I'm Christopher JMUA and welcome back to my channel. Unless you've never been here, of course, then welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by. Today, we're gonna be reviewing the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Pink Religion Collection. I've got a little bit of everything here. We've got the palette, a mirror, a couple of lip products, as well as the highlighting palette. So if you'd like to see everything that I actually got, as well as how it looks, how it performs, how it swatches, and if you'd like to know my initial first impressions, then stay exactly where you are. Keep doing exactly what you're doing and keep on watching. So to begin, just a very quick synopsis of everything that I got. I got a mirror, the Pink Religion palette, the Sacred Glass Extreme Frost Trio, the Holy Mist Soothing Facial Spray, two Velvet Trap Lipsticks, and the Hydrating Glitz Hydrating Lip Balm. I couldn't quite get the full collection of everything that was released this time, mainly the balm and the lip product. I didn't really need all the Velvet Trap lipsticks anyway, so I only got just a couple of shades that I thought would match perfectly for today's look, because it's probably gonna be pink. Just putting it out there, just guessing, not sure yet, but most likely. Now because I'm gonna need to be able to see myself the whole time I'm putting on makeup, let's go ahead and start off with the mirror. Now this mirror is $30 and this is the stained glass mirror. I was very torn between the three mirrors that were available this time, mainly between the stained glass and the cross. I thought both were just beautiful, but I figured if I was just gonna get one, I would get the most interesting one. And to me, that was definitely the stained glass. That is so beautiful. It's not only pink, and looks like stained glass, but it also reflects this gorgeous, like purpley, lavendery, pink kind of color. It's just really pretty and really unique. Unfortunately though, mine does have quite a few scratches in it already. Looks like they were a little rough with it in the warehouse. That's okay though, I'm still happy. Then we have the Sacred Glass Extreme Frost Trio. This is $62, and the component is just like the Extreme Frost components. It's the like leather feeling jewelry box, if you will. Feels super luxe and looks super luxe. And then if we open it up, there are the three highlighters. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So I turned down my lighting a little bit just in the hopes that you might be able to see a little more clearly. Now that we've got the shade Pearly Gates here, Pink Purity in the center, and the Glass Slipper on the end. Now a little bit of light from my flash just so you can see the reflect and the sparkle. Oh, I love these Extreme Frost, they're so pretty. And like I said before, I got two Velvet Trap shades. I got the shades God's Gift and Always Faithful. And the components for the Velvet Trap lipsticks from this collection are different from the previous Velvet Trap collections. So the original Velvet Trap lipstick launch was this baby pink packaging. Now we have the hot pink packaging. The previous balm that launched with the mystery boxes, that has a metallic component with some logos on the outside. Then if we compare it to the original lip ammunition before they were changed to Velvet Trap lipsticks, you had where it actually looked like a bullet with the silver cap on it, but all the actual components are the same, it's just the detailing on the outside and the color and the texture that changes. And there we've got God's Gift, which is the white. It's very bright white. It's kind of hard to see, actually, because it's so bright. And then Always Faithful is the deeper, more purpley toned color. And these were $18 a piece, or you could also get all eight of them in one big bundle for 120 bucks. Then we've got the packaging for the Hydrating Glitz Lip Balm. I have the shade Scripture. Packaging is really cool with the glitter all over it. It looks like diamonds. And there's the component for the lip balm, just like the lip balm from the mystery boxes. Looks like it's the exact same thing. And here's what the lip balm looks like. Oh, that's super cute. It's got little stars in it. Oh, wow. And they're actually made into it. That's so cool. But let's see if it has any opacity. I'm not really sure how much, if any, it does. Okay, it's got a little bit. It's definitely leaving a slight hue to my hand. So it's doing its job. I can't fault it. I'm trying to get in focus. I'm so sorry if I'm way out of focus. It's just really hard to see on my monitor right now. Now the product I'm probably the most excited about, aside from the actual eyeshadow palette, is the Holy Mist Setting Spray. This is $26, and this is the first setting spray 
the Jeffree Star Cosmetics has launched themselves. Shows it's infused with dragon fruit extract. So I bet it's gonna smell amazing. I've been waiting for a setting spray from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I'm really glad he decided to, at least with this launch, come out with one. So here's the component. We've got a clear but semi-pink cap. It shows Holy Mist on the front, and it's got the Jeffree Star Cosmetics cross logo. And on the back it says, Soothes and hydrates the skin of even the strongest sinner. And it shows his logo right underneath that. <laughs> That's so funny. I have to use a little bit of this right now, just to see what it's like. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Wow. Oh, it's so fresh and fruity and light. It's not too heavy. It's not like overly fragrant where you just want to wipe your face off the moment after you spray. That smells really good. And it's so hot in here. So this is really cooling. It's kind of soothing and relieving. I swear it's like 74 or 75. So this just brought my face down to like 71 instead. Wow, that smells so good. And now the star of the show, Miss Pink Religion. She was $52, just like every other Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette that launches. On the front, the packaging's a little different than typical this time. We just have the cross acting as the packaging, just kind of holding it in shape. Has Jeffree Star Cosmetics cross looking logo with the Pink Religion in the middle. Then on the back, it's got the ingredient list, as well as Jeffree Star Cosmetics social media links at the bottom, as per usual again. And here's the palette itself. Itself. It literally looks like a book. It literally feels like a leather bound book. Obviously faux leather, but it feels so good. The quality of this palette is just phenomenal. And everything's even raised like it was printed leather. It's not just a sticker on the top. It feels good. On the back, Looks like a book as well. Again, with the social media links and the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo at the bottom. And now let's open the actual palette itself and see what shades are inside. And there she is. All of her pink and purple and slightly watermelon reddish gorgeousness. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in so that we can get started on swatches. The first shade is the shade Princess Crown. Saint Star, Frosting Cult, Pink Religion, Strawberry Youth, Sugar Savior, Prom Night, Diva, Lollipop Luxury, Jeffrey's World, Woo. Candy Cathedral, Pink Fever, Beauty Killer Holy Fire Fashion Faith Handbag Queen Dollhouse Lane and Vatican Vanity. And with Vatican Vanity, that's all the swatches from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Pink Religion Eyeshadow Palette. I'll go ahead and insert photos of the swatches, one with flash here, and one without flash here. And here's a video close-up of all of our swatches. I 
I started out by priming my eyes with my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 02, and I don't have a real specific plan. I just know that I want to stay away from purples because I always go in with purples. So to start out, I'm going to use this wider condensed fluffy blending brush and start with the shade Handbag Queen. Now this seems to be just about the darkest, more red shade in the palette. Obviously it does have a little bit of purple in it. It looks now like I'm putting it on the eye like it is a solid purple, but I'm kind of looking at it more like a darker maroon because I plan on trying to blend it out with a solid red. So I'm hoping it's gonna turn it from more of a purple to a red or a pink. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pack this on all the way around my crease area since this is gonna be my darkest tone it's also going to be my lowest tone. This is like the perfect raspberry shade. Okay, I have discovered that that is very purple. In fact, that is like plum purple. But now I'm going to see if I can change it up a little bit and make it not so purple. So I'm going to use this other Hank and Henry brush. It's another wide brush. I would probably use this more for putting shimmer on the lid normally, but I got this new brush set in a giveaway recently, so I really wanted to try it today. So I'm going to use this brush and go into the shade Holy Fire. And I'm going to use Holy Fire to blend out Handbag Queen. So I'm going to start by just pressing half of the color onto my skin and half of the color onto the existing shade. You know, I just decided I'm going to stop about halfway through on this blend because I think I'm going to use a different color on the inner portion rather than the outer portion. Now let's start getting into some real pink. I'm going to use this Sigma Small Tapered Blending E45 brush. I love it because it's pointed so I can get in this inner corner crease area perfectly. And I'm going to go into the shade Lollipop Luxury. And this is going to be the shade that I use to blend out the purple in the inner crease portion. My favorite pink tones are these more strawberry-like pink tones. I just think they have just enough white in them to make them the perfect shade of pink. Now, I'm not gonna be using this brush to blend anything out. I'm using the very tippy tip of the brush where it's really pointed just to get a really precise application. Then I'll go in with a clean brush that's fluffy to actually do the blend work. Look at how neon that is. It's so perfect. And then I'm just going to pull the top part out a little bit so it blends in with the red and pretty much call it good with that shade. Now it's time to soften everything up and bring the overall pink tone to everywhere. So I'm going to use the Morphe X Madison Beer a Big Fluffy Brush. It's got a little bit of a point at the end so I can get some targeted application. And now I'm going to use Saint Star. And that's going to go all over the empty space that I've got left. So I'm going to blend out this deeper red on the brow bone portion, the strawberry pink on the inner crease portion, and pretty much just finesse all the edges with that shade. Okay, filled in the pink in all the open areas. Now just gonna use a bunch of little tiny itty bitty circular motions for hours and hours and I'll be back. Now that my blending is done for the crease, it's time to go in with some shimmers. And I'm actually kind of sad that there's only three shimmers in this palette, but I am really happy that one of them is more like a topper white so it can go over just about anything so no matter what color story you choose if you just top this with it this will kind of transform to work with whatever color story you pick with the mattes so at least you know you're taken care of still but the other two shimmers are not like that so we got Frosting Cult and Candy Cathedral. The Frosting Cult looks literally just like frosting. It looks like I just scooped my finger into some pink frosting and put it on. But for sure, these will just be pink. I'm also anticipating using the Sacred Glass Highlighter Palette, at least one of those shades on my eye as well, just to kind of give it a little bit of a pick-me-up. So for today's look, I'm gonna go ahead and take Candy Cathedral just with my ring finger and put that all over the lid. Oh, wow. That is fantastic! It is so pigmented, so solid, and so sparkly. And I'm just pressing this all around. I'm actually using the shape of my crease as sort of my guide. I'm putting my finger right in my crease line, and where it touches that crease, that's where I stop. So I'm just patting that crease line all the way around. And it's just melting into that darker crease shade. It's sort of fixing the blend without me even having to do anything. That's 
pretty fantastic. I completely take back what I previously said about those two pink shades not changing based on what kind of matte they're on top of. They are definitely not opaque enough that they're blocking out all pigment from underneath it. So you can see where I've put the darker color in the crease. The pink that went on top of it still has dimension and depth because of that darkness underneath. So you could really do an entire spotlight eye with mattes underneath this shade. Put the shimmer on top and not even have to worry about blending it because it's already blended for you. Now as a last little touch on the lid, just to give it a little bit more dimension and to use another shade so I can say I used another shade, I'm gonna use this flat Morphe Purple brush and go into the shade Frosting Colt this time. I've had to use the Frosting Colt shade since I opened the palette, I've just had to. And I'm gonna use that on the inner portion of the lid and just kind of melt it into Candy Cathedral, if it does melt. I'm just gonna put it right on top Try to go as close to the inner corner as I can. Pack it on and then drag it out just a little bit. Wow, that shade looks like it has blue in it. Shimmer is now applied. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera, clean everything up, get all my face makeup on, lashes, lips, etc., etc. Go ahead and come back so we can use the Sacred Glass Extreme Highlighter Palette and finish off the lower lash line. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Face makeup is now done, except setting spray, but first I'm gonna finish off the lower lash line before we use the setting spray. So for the lower lash line, using this Morphe X Jeffree Star JS13 brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Strawberry Youth and use that on my lower lash line on the outer portion, mainly on the outer portion. So starting right out here and then pulling it to probably right here. Boom, half, just like that. Except I'm gonna double up on the pigment because I want it to be a lot more pigmented. Okay, then I'm gonna use this Hank and Henry little tiny, it's almost, I think it's a smudger brush. And I'm gonna use Prom Night with this brush. Wow, that is so intense. And Prom Night is gonna go on the inner corner. Well, the inner portion of the lower lash line. Okay, and now the last step for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take the Morphe X Madison Beer Brush that I used earlier in the shade Saint Star, go right back in to the shade Saint Star, and very gently and lightly with the tip of the brush, just smoke out that lower edge. We wear pink on Wednesdays? No. No, honey. Jeffrey said we wear pink every day. Now, eyeshadow is done. So let's try out this Holy Mist Facial Setting Spray. I'm gonna go ahead and set all of the makeup on my face. I haven't set it yet. All I did was use this in the beginning just as like a primer. So let's see how it sets a soft matte foundation. Oh, that spray nozzle is just so good. It's not too much. It's not too little. Oh, that kind of smells like bubble gum. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the Sacred Glass Extreme Frost Trio. I am gonna use Pearly Gates right here as both my highlight, and I'm gonna take a little bit of it with this pointed flat brush and put it in the inner corner. Actually, it's so smooth, I can apply it like this. Just look at how beautiful that is. Oh. It's just like a cute little dusting of pinkish snow. Inner corner highlight is gleaming and popping. Now let's move on to lips. Now I was gonna start off with the Hydrating Glitz Lip Balm, but I think I'm just gonna save this for later. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you know, I was gonna save it for later, but I decided right now, I was just gonna go ahead and put it on anyway. I figure there's enough concealer and foundation all over my lips that this will just help break it down a little bit and get my lips prepped and ready for the actual lipsticks. Okay, that definitely does have a tint. I know we noticed on the back of the hand that it had a little bit of a tint anyway, but on the lips, even mixing with the concealer and foundation and kind of just turning into hydrating cream, it still applied a little bit of color. Now with these Velvet Trap lipsticks, I have already filmed an entire review on them. I'll leave it linked up here if you guys wanna check out just what my first impressions were, my opinions were, and see all those colors, cause there were a lot of colors. So I already know I like them. That's not gonna be a problem at all. But I realize now that I ordered the Always Faithful shade and it's very purple. I really don't think this is gonna work with this look. You know what, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it and see if it's gonna look okay. 
I'm gonna use both shades that I got, Always Faithful as my overall lip color, and then a little bit of the God's Gift as the center highlight for an ombre. Did you see how creamy that just went on? These are so good. I don't mind that color. Now with Always Faithful applied, we're gonna take a little bit of God's Gift, and I am not about to put this directly on my lips and get all this purple onto here, so I'm just gonna put this on my ring finger a little bit. Cute. So, with the lipstick applied, that is everything from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Pink Religion Collection Review. So what do you guys think? I think it is definitely very, very pink, for sure, 150%, and pink is definitely not my favorite color by any stretch of the imagination. It's not like I am constantly wearing pink eyeshadow looking for the best pinks. However, I think this is really beautiful, and it worked just like I expected it to work. The shadows were pigmented, they blended well, just like every single other Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadow palette I've ever used. But I have got to just give an extra shout out, again, an extra praise, kudos to this packaging. This feels so luxe, it feels so good. It feels like a real book. I mean, it feels like a leather bound book. And I just think that is super impressive. I feel like it really shows the amount of time and energy that's put into the products that Jeffree Star Cosmetics creates. So palette, definite, 10 out of 10, obviously, of course. But this mirror, I was kind of disappointed in this mirror, or I am kind of disappointed in this mirror. Not the design necessarily, because the design's really cool, and I'm gonna love hanging this up on my wall with all of my other Jeffree Star Cosmetics mirrors, but this one feels super flimsy compared to the other ones, and when I move it, the top of it is actually bending and shaking, and I'm afraid that it's just gonna pop apart at any given moment in time. Plus the fact that it has all the scratches in the back of it from, I guess, just in the warehouse or something. That all comes together to make me paranoid. But at least I know on the wall it's gonna be safe because it's just gonna be hanging there. And at least I know it's really pretty to look at. So I can still use it safely. It's just not gonna be a mirror that I'm gonna travel with. Then the Sacred Glass Extreme Frost Trio. This is the exact same kind of packaging as what the palette is. It feels like that faux leather type of material. The same kind of material that is used for the Extreme Frost boxes, like the jewelry box kind of look. Same kind of thing, same kind of packaging. Not to mention the actual formula for Extreme Frost is really beautiful as well. But the shine that you get from Extreme Frost, as long as you know how to use it in a way that doesn't get glitter everywhere, I think it can be really, really beautiful. I just prefer Supreme Frost because you don't have to care. You don't have to worry. You can use a brush and just go in really heavy handed and make it look really close to an Extreme Frost. But the Extreme Frost are the only ones that give that punch that really really intense saturated shine then the balm and the lipsticks you know those are like the other ones i've previously tried already i've already given my thoughts and opinions on those i like them in case you didn't know then the holy mist setting spray i hope he launches more of these but in different collections or maybe even standalone within his brand so that it's not just all the pink packaging and the holy cross emblem to represent matching the Pink Religion collection, but the smell of this, the way the mister sprays out, how it's so fine and perfect as it goes on, and the smell, did I mention the smell? I don't think I mentioned the smell. And the smell of this is so good. Didn't really change anything with the skin, but it did help melt in the powder onto my skin and just brought it back to that natural skin finish. So I'm happy with it in that aspect, but the smell. Okay, the smell. And with the setting spray, that was the last part of the Pink Religion collection. So that's it for my review, guys. I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, just chilling with me while I unboxed all the Pink Religion stuff, tried it on and gave my initial first impressions. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you wanted to, it'd be really cool if you want to give me a thumbs up just to let me know that you enjoyed it, as well as not forgetting to hit that little red subscribe button down there so that you can be subscribed to my channel and hit the little notification bell beside that. Don't forget to hit all at the top instead of personalized or none whenever it pops up 
on the bell with notifications so that you can be alerted every time I upload a new video instead of just sometimes. And if it's up to YouTube, you probably won't even get a notification. So make sure after you hit subscribe that you hit the little all there, ding the little bell for me if you want to. If you don't want to and you're mean, that's okay too. You don't have to. I understand people are just mean sometimes. Also, if you like this look and you want to see more looks like them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. My username is the same for everything. It's just Christopher JMUA. And if you gain nothing out of this video, if you gain nothing out of any of my videos, then please at least gain this. And that is to always remember and to never forget that you are absolutely beautiful. And I love you guys. Bye.